Okay, so here's the survey dashboard. Um, so once you get here, uh, you'll have two big graphs right in front of you. Um, one is the number of survey participants, right? So between all the stakeholders, it looks like line staff, principal, parent, and on-site leader. Again, this is all fake data. Um, and then on the right side, you see the percent of positive response for all quality standards. Um, this is all across all stakeholders. Um, sort of a summary data here. Um, so for standard five, 89 percent. Standard seven is 89 percent. Standard nine is 76 percent. Um, and then if you want to know which standard is what, there's a list here. You can sort of go through three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. You can see the full district level report here, uh, school level results. If you want to dive deeper into specific schools, um, these are some survey instructions that you'll see uh, regarding the survey window, the survey goal, and if there's a paper pencil option, or th there is a paper pencil option for you to pick from. This means you can print out the survey and download the survey and give it out to parents. It does take a little while um, for that uh, data to be processed since it will need to be mailed to us and we'd have to manually input it and then um, calculate it. So, uh, Spanish translations are embedded in the survey itself for students and parents. Um, some of the survey protocols, instructions for parent survey and student surveys, what to say to them. Um, let's see, let's go to student. This just really opens up a uh, you know, a pre-written script and sort of link to the surveys. Um, so these are the links to the actual surveys itself. It will take you to the survey, but this is a survey on the live website and not on our test server here. So I'm going to go ahead and just type in the uh, survey link for our test server. Pretty sure I have it saved here. Um, let's go to the survey hub. Actually. So I'm going to type it in here. Um, usually it's by oh, survey slash. I'm going to do line staff. Let's do line staff. So this is what the survey looks like. Um, you can select the district that you're in. So let's say Bonzo School. I'm going to go with Vivian. And then you can start taking your surveys here. These are all the questions. Um, so let's see. So, we can look at the district level report. Um, total number of six responses so far from all of the stakeholders, four different stakeholders. Um, principal, parent, on-site leader, and line staff. Let's look at line staff. So, number of respondents, three. And then this is a line staff survey type. And these are the different quality standards. So we try to figure out how to summarize a lot of this um, information because if you click on this it will expand and give you a um, question by question percentage of you know, where everybody's responses are so um, what this is is sort of a summary sort of a total positive response so it'll give you a pretty good idea of how you're doing on each quality standard um, so sort of you can see red orange and green green means you're doing pretty well um, orange is and me might need some work and red definitely needs some work so Again, you can click on it and it will expand and give you um, question by question response percentage for each of the quality standards. So let's go ahead and just take one of the surveys now. Um, let's do line staff. So the survey is smart enough to know that if you miss the question, because it's kind of easy to you know, miss the questions when there's 26 of them. Um, and it knows that you haven't completed the questions. I'm going to miss a couple questions here just so that you can see. Click there, 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 and there. Hit submit. Nope, we didn't answer question 6 or question 15. Again, minimally evident, fully evident. Great. Let's hit submit. Ah been recorded so this is our success page once it once you finish and submitted a survey successfully it'll give you this page you know thank you for participating if you need to take another survey so let's say you know you're doing student surveys online and the staff 
took the students to your computer lab, um, you can easily get back to the surveys um, without having to log in and retype the URL over and over and over and over again. So this is sort of like a grand central station for all of our um, surveys. So it'll take you back to the surveys here. You can click on it, it'll open it up in a new tab, and you're good to go to take it again. So anyways, let's refresh the page. So this is district level report. So you have total number four responses. The percentage has changed um, in regards to, so it looks like we went from 77% to 75% one of these so we don't have any green ones anymore um, and then we can keep going keep looking at you know diving deeper into what the responses are here um, same goes for the school level response I think what we did was Vivian so let's go to Vivian two responses we only have line staff from there safe and supportive environment skill building here anyways you can download the report later let's go back Let's go back to the dashboard. Anyways, yeah, and that's essentially our survey system. Um, let's go back to the main dashboard. So it's one login. You can log in. You create your plan. Um, you can upload, update, and you know, edit your plans. Um, and then you can have a management system for the surveys. Um, the results are compiled in real time, and you can actually see how these percentages lay out as results come in or as surveys come in so one thing I do want to show though let's log out of here and go into an admin view of this let's go to admin this is an admin view of it so again this is a test server there's not a lot of users on here actually there's a John Smith on here for San Marcos Unified and this is what admins would see to create announcements uh, it's printable resources. You can watch some of the videos on there. Um, you have a lot more buttons up here. Uh, there's tutorials. You can edit your profile. Um, you can run some reports, and you can create new users, right? And then reports. These are specific reports. You want to do survey, um, export out, export raw data, uh, raw survey data, and then um, export some of the CQI plans in an Excel format, of course. So again. The test user was in Bonzo. Let's go to Bonzo. We can see all of the plans. We can see who the user is. Um, we can see the number of plans completed. Um, so let's see. The bank's charter. And Bonzo Unified. We can actually go in and look at their plans. Now we can't make any edits to the plans. We can only look at it. So Valentine's Day gift. Gets President's Day gift. DF is the. So this is just a way for an administrator to go in and see um, how their schools are doing. So anyways, if you have any questions, always just email me. So anyways, that's it.